believe I am live. Aloha sales wizardry community. I just want to check to make sure I'm live. All right, I am live. Amazing, amazing. Looks like somebody just joined. Hello, Allison. As you pop in, please feel free to say hello. My name is Marina. And to those of you that are new to me, to my group, I just want to, oh gosh, <laughs> just want to take some, uh, take a moment here to welcome you to this amazing community. And I'm really excited to have you here. Um, I call myself the intuitive business mentor. And what that means is so much more. Uh, my work has been described as practical magic. Mm -hmm. where I give you the frameworks of how to create these amazing results, such as 12K days, 4K full pays while you're on vacation, which has become kind of a norm in my client world. Um, and today we're diving all into it. So as you pop in, please say hello. I want to get to know all of the new amazing people in here. Hong, hello, Hong. Hello, Elise. Hello, Allison. Um, let me know where you're watching from. Um, please say hi so I can greet you as well. And if you have any questions throughout, please feel free to stop me. Um, I will have a PowerPoint. So I'm about to start sharing my screen here. This is going to be educational as well as uh, it's meant to be interactive. Um, I want to kind of set the ground rules like first that, you know, um, as far as like who this is for and who this is not for, and I'm going to cover that, um, who will benefit the most. If you have any questions, like I said at all, please feel free to let me know. All right, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. Aha, okay. Can you guys see my screen? Like I said, please feel free to say hello. Um, as you are watching, I wanna to get to know all of the amazing, beautiful people in my community. So without further ado, the 12K day framework. How did I make 12K in one day? How did I continuously repeat this? And how have I been able to put this into a process um, so that my clients can benefit from it? So it's not just me that's making these results. Um, it's not uncommon for my clients to receive payments after being on vacation. And I'm going to go into as to why that is. Right. A lot of times we're like, you know, we see these amazing testimonials and people don't explain why. So today I'm going to actually go ahead and explain like what's behind that energetically. Like, why the hell does it work for some people and why the hell does it not work for others? So, like I said, feel free to ask questions at any point in time. And in this epic training, you will learn all of the elements needed for you to create epic full pay days. Um, I'm going to describe, you know, what not necessarily like what kind of business elements you need, but more the emotional, energetic, strategic, physical elements, if that makes sense. A lot of my work is very holistic. Um, and this signature framework, like I said, has allowed people to sign a full pay client, you know, after 24 hours of working with me. Um, this is the unique signature framework that has resulted in a 12K day and an 8K day. Um, these are the frameworks that I teach my clients as well so i am not sure how long i'm going to leave the training up but i hope that you revel in it and i hope that you enjoy it so you're here because you're interested in mental emotional aspects of creating money clients and calling in your desires on demand and you're probably here because you're interested in how to integrate everything that you've learned in business so far how to integrate your intuition all of these things that you hear on instagram that oh, you can create your reality, whatever, blah, 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 and how to actually go ahead and do that practically, right? Um, you have perhaps, you know, are here because you have a business or perhaps you have sold a few offers. Um, if you haven't sold offers yet, you will still benefit from the training, um, but I will just kind of let you in that the people that will benefit the most are the individuals who have sold at least one offer. The reason being as to why there's something magical that happens in your brain after one sale for your unique creation uh, that completely changes up your attitude, your being, your energy, etc. So you have some clarity about perhaps who you serve and how. 
and you have sold before and desire to create more balance and consistency with your sales process, um, whether it would be energetically, mentally, emotionally, so that you're not always relying on, oh my God, I constantly need to chase an energetic healer in order for me to create a sale, right? I constantly need to chase some sort of another personal development or coach um, or another course in order to create a sale that you don't need to always reinvest and reinvest and reinvest with every single sale that you have created. Um, you are perhaps here if you're feeling as though like you're on the verge, you're like, I'm on the verge of a breakthrough. I feel it, I feel it, I feel it. And it's like not there. Perhaps you desire sustainability and consistency in your sales. Like I said, uh, from the standpoint of emotional, energetic, intuitive, as well as strategic consistency and know exactly what kind of actions to take on a regular basis in order for that to become your reality. Is this making sense to those of you that are watching? Um, if these do not fit the bill for you, let me know below in the comments as to what drew you to this training. What is it that you desire to learn um, so that I know whether or not these questions are gonna be covered and if not, to leave additional time at the end to cover them or explain them better for you. What this is not, um, this training is not a get rich quick scheme. This is not a get rich quick uh, training of like, this is how you make your 12K and boom, you're done. Uh, this is not just a system to get you to like 12K tomorrow. There's a lot of different starting points that you need to have and you're gonna discover as to what they are. Um, and this is not something that's going to work for everyone, but I will describe as to who it will work for and why. The reason why it's not something that it's going to work for everyone is because there's a certain energetic uh, business, emotional and intuitive and just kind of attitude propensity that is required for this to occur. Um, this is not simply a way to get money online without the focus of connecting to your own intention and your own intuition and your own divinity. This is not for somebody who has like no idea about what their business is at all and who just wants to make money for the sake of making money. Um, it's probably not necessarily going to work for you, although stranger things have happened because some of this framework has been applied to simply receiving money, not necessarily in selling offers. And I'm gonna explain that more in detail, but this is a disclaimer just to be fully transparent that there are certain individuals who it's going to work for with higher propensity than others however energetically speaking there's no such thing as something not working if something is not working it simply is reflecting to you your energetic emotional mental uh, propensities right so if something is called not working it's simply time to adjust one of those facets <laughs> So this is not a strategy course about your 10 steps to 12K. This is absolutely not what it is. Um, this is a framework about how to utilize your mind, your intuition, and how to get your body subconscious on board to make this more consistent occurrence for you rather than just these quantum leaps that arrive and then you're like, how can I repeat that? Because a lot of times those of you that are here and I'm seeing comments, just a second. Philippines, hey, hey, on the verge of a breakthrough. Catherine Coy says, yes, amazing, amazing. All right. Um, what do you mean by on the verge of a breakthrough? What does that look like to you? Okay. So this is not your, like I said, 10 step to 12K. This is more of a framework of how to begin working with your intuition, um, because what happens a lot of times, so those of you that are here and correct me if I'm wrong, is that you perhaps have created a sale from some sort of a consistency, some sort of a consistent strategy up until now, uh, and it felt kind of like a fluke. So you're like, how can I make this more consistent so it's not a fluke? Because there's all these intangible aspects of energetics and creation mechanics and I just don't understand. I hope that, that makes more sense as far as what kind of framework this actually is. The intention of course is for you to familiarize with the starting line that you're at right now so you can develop a sales process that is consistent but the sales process that does not just mean what kind of strategy you take in order for you to create sales. A lot of my work focuses on who my clients are being 
A lot of my work focuses on mindset, energy, intuition, etc. The intention of this training is to familiarize um, you with the understanding and integrating both strategic and intuitive sides of your business in order to call aligned clients and amazing clients. It is to add a tool to your already growing set of tools in business and perhaps shift how you view your sales process and to help you build sustainability with your sales to help you create self-trust and make this repeatable. And again, who will benefit the most from this training, but it's not exclusive, is if you have sold at least one offer. If you haven't, this will still benefit you to know and learn about. Um, but it will benefit the most those of you who have sold at least one offer or who have at least created a transformation and have some sort of clarity about your offer. Um, if you have shut up, showed up consistently in business, perhaps developed emotional maturity to stay true to your vision, I say for at least a year, um, but for me personally, this has happened within my first three weeks in business. And the consistency around this framework has developed as the months went on. So it can only get better, uh, but it can work the best for the individuals who have consistently shown up. However, like I said, it doesn't exclude those of you that haven't, you will still learn a ton. Um, if you have a service-based business that is based on personal development and transformative services, again, if you do not fit the above description, you will still benefit from this training by recognizing your relationship to money, intuition, actions that you take, and seeing them in a completely different light than perhaps you have been taught before. I'm just checking for questions. So who am I in my story? I'm Marina, and those of you who are new to me, uh, welcome, welcome. Like I said, I'm an intuitive business mentor. That's what I call myself as, but I'm so much more than that. I also do energetic healing. Um, I do intuitive practices with people. I teach people how to expand their intuitive abilities. Um, I go really deep in my work because if it was just sales and marketing, we would all be millionaires by now. <laughs> I'm passionate about horses, travel, and snowboarding, and this is what has led me to create this business for the sake of location independence and for the sake of helping people achieve their goals and dreams of travel, um, fun, etc. Like I said, I'm highly intuitive. Some may call me psychic. <laughs> That's my gift. Uh, that's the gift that I bring to every single one of my business sessions and business coaching packages is that my work is highly custom and very, very deep, a lot deeper than most people may have experienced before from a business coach. I'm super playful. I was born in Russia and I live in Colorado half a year and I live on Maui the other half a year. So here's some pictures of my lifestyle. Um, this is the reason as to why I do what I do is for the lifestyle. And that's my intention to impart that on you um, to create a business around your lifestyle and not the other way around. Yet again, a little bit about myself. I have consistently created, consistently created seven to 13K on average months. Since month one of full time in business, um, after two years of approximately spinning my wheels when nothing has worked, um, I've worked in business to business marketing in the leading independent sales agency in Midwest and servicing big, big companies like Hudamaki and 3M, which are all like environmental cleaning companies and like, I don't know, it's just very environmentally conscious companies um, and other personal care brands. I worked for a seven figure coach on her sales team and one of my records was generating $35,000 in sales um, in two weeks on a team of three for a hundred plus thousand dollar launch. I have had a successful massage therapy business for five years, uh, which has allowed me also some facet of location independence, time freedom and ability as well to live in Maui and Colorado uh, in half a year in each. And after thousands of dollars spent in coaching, I have found a very unique non-niche way uh, approach that works and has worked for my clients to create breakthroughs in their business. And I'm sharing that with you today. Um, and I'm a six figure business owner. This is my coaching business. I've definitely earned way more than that with my massage therapy business as well. Um, all of the above have also, uh, what I haven't mentioned here is that I've always been into everything esoteric um, into everything that is 
non-tangible and spiritual. Uh, and that's been my area of study for the last 16 years of my life. And I'm a closet case witch, <laughs> not a witch, but a closet case psychic and something that I don't always lead with, but that's changing now um, is that I'm very energetically sensitive. I'm very intuitive. And that is what I bring to my clients to the table. I see a comment, just a second. I feel like something big is happening for me, but it hasn't materialized yet, if that makes sense. I absolutely do, Elise. It's almost as if you're birthing, birthing a new vision. Um, and right now there's a lot of energetic shifts happening collectively. So what you may be feeling is a huge shift in how people do business, which is why this training is really, really important because the way that we do business now is completely changing from just the strategic approach to really listening to our body, mind, our intuition, et cetera. And those are the aspects of the framework that I'm about to cover. So the story that you all have been waiting for, my 12K day, <laughs> this story um, cracks me up a little bit. So <laughs> the 12K day actually happened last year, but the 8K day happened fairly recently. It actually happened last week. Uh, and then the 4K full pay sale happened also last week. So this framework still remains the same, but I want to tell you the story first because it's hilarious. Um, and this is where the framework has started. I owed a mentor $3,500 by a Friday of this week or the week that it was, whenever that was, right? I had owed a mentor um, a lot of money <laughs> and I had maybe $500 in my bank account, right? I was just like, and yet at the same time, I still held a very stubborn vision in my mind and in my heart that I'm gonna go ahead and pay her. I'm like, this is a challenge. This is for me to grow. This is for me to really, um, like I, I, I had to believe in myself before the evidence had showed me otherwise, okay? So that week I also got had like a tooth infection and I had to have a tooth pulled and I had no money in my bank account. But all week, I remember I just simply held the vision this was after approximately of three to four weeks of showing up bananas everywhere online, um, of doing live streams, of doing posts, etc. Right. And I had no money in my bank account. I had maybe like five hundred dollars to my name. And I was like, somehow, some way this is going to happen. Uh, at that point, I had already signed I, my three clients and I had created thirteen and a half thousand dollars in three weeks. But this one was the one that takes the cake and is still the record to date. Um, so I had no money in my bank account. I was like, well, if I had created three clients in three weeks, then something's got to give. I was throwing a temper tantrum. I was like, I don't know how this is going to happen. But there was this deep inner knowing within me. There was this deep inner understanding within me that I knew that I was going, going, going to make this work. I just continuously envisioned that this was going to happen that I was going to have enough money for all of my bills and I was going to have enough money for my mentor. When I had to have the tooth pulled that week, I was like, okay, well, I had like, I don't know, maybe a thousand something dollars in my bank account. And I was like, I don't know how this is gonna work, but I don't wanna die from a tooth infection. So I had to go ahead and do what I had to do, right? So I started taking like every single action possible. I was like, I started going to Craigslist. I started going on Instagram uh, to advertise my new service. I started calling my landlord to like borrow money in case. I was like, hey, I owe this lady $3,500 um, and I'm under contract. And I'm just, I don't know, I'm looking at payday loans. I'm like emailing my list. And I'm literally just like shamelessly also asking people, right? Because again, one thing that you will learn in this framework is that you have to go first. So I took one action after another. And one thing that I remember distinctly that week that was a lot different than any other week is that there was this deep inner unshakability. It was like through everything, I just had to trust my boat in the middle of the storm, that it was going to make it through the storm and the storm was eventually going to be over and I have to hold my fortitude, right? It was Wednesday and I kept picturing my desired outcome. 
it was down to the wire and I remember I called my man I was like hey I I don't know how it's gonna work but I feel like it's gonna work he's like well I've got this painting job that's overnight if you want to come help me paint a wall I was like okay that sounds really joyous why would I want to go paint a wall right so I was like he's a contractor that's what he does he does remodels uh, and he does custom furniture as well so he does some artistic endeavors in addition so I was like, that doesn't sound like fun, but how much are you going to pay me? And he said approximately, you know, 300 bucks. And I was like, well, shit, that's $300 that I don't have. Let's go do it. Let's go. <laughs> and then I remember I was like, okay, well, I still have stuff to finish. I still have to email my list. Maybe I can go engage with another person on Facebook. Maybe I can put out another live stream. Maybe I can put out a YouTube video, like whatever. Just taking one step in front of the other. I was definitely in hustle mode. I was definitely going, going, going. And I had this intuitive hit to drive one hour across the island to go get my favorite latte, right? <laughs> and I was like, I ain't got time for this. I got money to make. I got shit to do. Like, what the hell? <laughs> I ain't got time to go get myself a freaking latte across the island. I live on Maui. And I was like, okay, well, it's towards the direction of my man. And if I'm going to paint with him overnight, then I'm going to go get myself some coffee. And I was like, okay, hold on. But I got one more email to write. And the intuitive hit came in harder. Go get your fucking latte. And I was like, okay, fine. If I leave right now, I will make it there within 10 minutes of the coffee shop closing. I have a coffee shop here on island. That's my favorite of all. It's called Akamai. And I was like, okay. I'm going to go and get this freaking latte. <laughs> and so I'm driving and I'm still, I'm like, all right, it's Wednesday night. I still have one more day. But I just, I don't know. I feel like I, I started to get a little panicked, but there was still that, that very uh, tested inner core being that was very much tested, almost like being in a balance pose on the yoga mat, right? Where you're like in your half moon and you're like, I'm about to topple over, but you're standing there and you take your breath and you find that stillness. It was like that. So I'm driving to go get my latte and I agreed and I drove to his place and I opened my laptop and I saw a woman from actually three days ago who was interacting on one of my live streams, who was interested in one of my programs that I literally just did not see. I didn't notice why, because I was so in hustle mode. And I was like, oh my God. So I messaged her, I reached out to her and I was like, hey, I saw that you're interested in one of my programs. She's like, yeah. And booked a sales call for the following day. I was like, whoa. And so I called up my man. I was like, hey, I, uh, I don't think I'm gonna come out and paint. I just had somebody book a sales call. Um, but if I do, what time are you going? He's like, I don't know, another couple hours. It was maybe 6 p.m. I had my latte. I was, um, sorry, I was very much inspired all of a sudden. I was like, oh my God, that is amazing. And I ended up recycling a post, I think, that was very much like a process post, a step-by-step. -step. Um, and there was an individual who I had randomly added just by pure intuition. I'm like, oh, this lady looks interesting. I added her and she reached out to me immediately. And she asked, this process works for all industries, right? She ended up being a real estate broker, a mortgage broker, and she was still one of my best testimonials. She made like 30 grand during the time that we were working together. It was amazing. Um, but she reached out to me and booked a sales call for the following day. Um, at that point in time, my one-on-one -on -one containers were $6,000. They both signed up for my one-on-one -on -one containers, so I booked $12,000 in sales. So now that you're thinking, you're like, that was fucking stressful. <laughs> There were so many moving parts and that day still serves as a case study that over the last few months I had refined um, and I had been able to put into a framework that no longer pushes you like to that extent. Are you going to be pushed during these levels of growth whenever you create, you know, such big quantum leaps? Yes, you absolutely will be pushed. Um, are you going to, are you going to experience that kind of wobble that I had mentioned as you would, if you are in your half moon pose, if you are in a balance pose on your yoga mat? Yes, you absolutely will. 
Um, and at the same time, it doesn't have to be that way. You can begin to develop that kind of inner trust within yourself without having to go through the quote unquote hustle and the shit show. Okay, like, and let me just explain, I will make it more clearly, I will make it more clear to you as to why the magical latte all of a sudden landed me those two sales, right? It will become more clear as I describe this framework. In the meantime, I'm curious to hear your feedback after hearing that story, if you had experienced anything of the like in your business. Um, and as I explain the framework, I trust me, this is going to become more clear to you as to how you can develop that inner unshakable trust within you to make these things a reality. I don't recall how much money I was intending on calling in that week. Um, but I do remember I was definitely calling in money and I do remember part of it was from a space of I want to cover my bills and I want to call in another client in order for me to have some play money. And I definitely did not expect 12K, but <laughs> there it goes. So I dissected it. It came up with a framework that allowed me to create another 8K day recently and to facilitate a client to book over $5,000 in sales after just one Instagram live stream. Um, and this was only after one session. Another client booked about 28, well, it wasn't about, it was exactly um, $2,800 in sales while being asked for the sale. And another client recently booked Did I get thrown off? Hmm. Are you guys still with me? For some reason, I feel like I cannot see my video. Can somebody comment to make sure that we're still here? Because I look like just... <clears throat> Looks like we might be still here. Can somebody comment real quick? I just want to make sure that we're still here. Otherwise, I'm going to keep going. It looks like we're still here on my uh, phone, but my phone just threw, threw us off. I have both my phone and my laptop going at the same time. So um, my client, my most recent client had booked a 4K full pay sale while relaxing uh, with her family for a week and then showing up and, you know, for her business, fully refreshed and ready to go. But what has created these stories um, of people relaxing? and going camping and then all of a sudden, you know, booking sales. Like what's up with that miracle? What's up with that miracle of following that intuitive hit of going and getting a latte and then all of a sudden being able to book a full pay sale? Like what the hell is up with that, right? So bear with me, I'm about to explain to you the framework. Um, I just wanna make sure that we're still here. If somebody can please comment, that's interesting. The amount wasn't specific, but the intention was this has sort of happened to me. Yeah, at least the amount doesn't have to be specific, but the intention of calling in a new client can be, you know, like it, it, one of the things I always say, the reason why a lot of times our intentional creations do not work is because we're not being clear enough with the universe. We're not being clear enough with our desires and we're not being clear enough with our intentions. So I started dissecting, like I said, I created another 8K day recently and have come to realize that the energetic undercurrent of most people's sales processes is literally the same and it's not what you think. It's literally a holistic approach that involves all of you, all of the strategic actions that you have taken up till now, uh, your relationship with you know, your significant other, your relationships to yourself, um, your relationship to yourself rather, your understanding of your own energy, your physical well-being, et cetera. So here is the moment that you have been waiting for about the framework and what to do and how to begin making this a reality for you. And I do not see anyone teaching this practical magic the same way that I do. So here we go. Step one, the body. It looks like we are still going. Okay, perfect. So step one is the body. And let me see. It looks like there's some. Okay, cool, we're still here. Perfect. Sorry about that, you guys. A little bit of technical issues. 
So the first step is the body. The, do the body is the door to your subconscious. One of the first things that I ask my clients initially is does your body, does your physical being agree with your ability to call in a client within 24 hours, to receive a lump sum of money, um, to create, you know, $4,000 by tomorrow, to pay your, you know, mentor, does your body agree? Um, there's a few different ways to test it. And in my programs, I go through a lot of different modalities. And most of you who are here are probably quite intuitive and probably have modalities that you already utilize that help you shift your subconscious beliefs. So the first thing to note is to ask your body yes or no question, right? Can I receive a large amount of money? Am I able to sign a client tomorrow? Am I able to, you know, do I believe that I can receive uh, a huge sum of money today? Do I believe that I can receive, you know, $10,000 by the end of the week? Do I believe that I can have a, you know, 15K month, right? I would encourage you to ask it in more of like short term bursts, meaning like, can I achieve X, Y, Z by tomorrow? Can I sign a client by tomorrow? Ask the body these yes or no questions. Um, there is the sway method. If you don't know how to do the sway method, I would recommend looking it up on YouTube, but you literally ask your body yes or no questions. If you do muscle testing, that helps as well. Uh, being a massage therapist, I am very much in tune with my body and very much aware to those of you that are just coming into the group and may not be as aware of your body's internal yeses or nos. I encourage you to spend some time uh, figuring out what methods work for you. And you can YouTube, like I said, the sway method, you can YouTube the pendulum method um, as to, or the muscle testing method as to how you can muscle test your body for yes or no questions. Your body is the door to your subconscious and that's where we want to start first because it's going to tell you exactly whether or not your core belief on the inside, no matter how many informations that you do, will actually allow you to create a client by tomorrow because you create mostly with your subconscious thought. You create mostly with your subconscious belief. So most of you that are here are probably already transformational catalysts. And like I said, already have plenty of modalities with which you can dispel your own beliefs. And if you do not, then we definitely need to chat because there's a lot of modalities and a lot of ways that I teach my clients uh, within my programs. But if you want to just start off and get curious of asking your body yes or no questions, whether it would be in meditation, whether it be using the muscle testing method, this is the first place to start. When it comes to dispelling it, uh, dispelling it requires energy work, intention, will, um, and there's so many different ways that you can dispel a subconscious thought, right? A subconscious thought that is in your body and that is stored in your body um, can be dispelled in a variety of ways. There's breath work. Some of you actually practice these kinds of modalities. You know, some of you literally just sit your butt down onto a pillow on the floor and dispel it. That's how I usually do it, you guys. So one of the containers that I have is called Magic U, where I teach people how to become essentially their own healer and teach people their own abilities and teach people their own energetic abilities, self-healing abilities. You have the power within you to dispel any kind of belief that does or does not serve you. You are that powerful. You are a freaking genius. And a lot of times it's simply accessing that information. And the way that I do it and the modalities that I practice are literally sitting my butt onto a pillow and setting an intention and going until it works, whether it be breathing, whether it be listening to sound healing frequencies, or whether it would be contacting an energetic healer, right? I do invest a lot of money into my um, energetic well-being because I'm very intuitive. And to me, that's, that's a high value for me. So there are plenty of ways that you can get rid of subconscious beliefs. And it's not something I'm going to go into it here because my clients um, have all come to me with a variety of ways that they have gotten curious um, and able to dispel these kinds of beliefs in their body. Right. So does anybody have any questions at the moment or does anybody have any ideas 
about how they can dispel their own subconscious beliefs in their body. Or does anybody have any doubts that you and your genius self can actually do this? Then we are going to talk about the other. One thing that I wanted to mention, um, it's a practice, right? Shifting your subconscious beliefs is a practice. It's kind of like working out. It's kind of like going to yoga or whatever. If you do not know how to do it yourself, definitely contact a professional or learn a new modality or technique. Um, there are plenty of ways that you can shift your subconscious beliefs, but that is the biggest place to start is to ask yourself whether or not it's a yes or no. And if it doesn't work the first time, get curious and try a different technique, right? There's no right or wrong way of doing this, but every single um, aspect of my sales process and every single client that has come to me um, has had their own ways of dispelling their belief. And every single time I've had these kinds of wins, I've utilized a different modality or I've utilized a different technique or I've utilized breath work or I've had sex or something because that is also a powerful way to dispel um, subconscious beliefs in your body. And it's all about you following your own intuition. And I'm going to get to that in just a second about um, what you need to do right now in order to dispel that belief, right? So that was just as an aside, I really wanted to mention that for you. The second part of the framework is the other. What I mean by the other, this can be either client or money. Are you excited about money? Because a lot of people, whenever I say the word money, immediately what happens in their body is so many stories around money and so many conditionings about money that you may not even be aware of. Are you actually excited about money? Are you like, oh my God, and have this like pleasurable sensation in your body when you think about money? One of the things that happened to me on my 12K day, the week leading up to it, every time I had envisioned myself giving that money to my mentor, um, I was filled with warm, pleasurable sensations in my body, right? And that's something that I consciously worked on. Are you excited about the client that you want to welcome into your world? Are you excited about them as a human being? Because whenever you look at clients from the standpoint of, I need another client, you're not going to sign a client because your clients are not here to save you. Your clients are fellow human beings who are looking to you for a service. If you think of like the other in, in the stance of money, right? How would you relate to money if money was a significant other? Are you excited about it? Are you excited about them? How would you relate to the client if they were all of a sudden to become your best friend? Obviously client mentorship dynamics, there's, you know, they're a little bit different um, than having a best friend. But one of the things that I was talking about with my mentor, and I really love this clause that she mentioned is, I would never ever hire anyone as my client um, if I did not want to go on a holiday with them. So are you excited about the clients that you want to call in? Are you excited about them? Or do you have some sort of resentment towards the audience of people being like, oh, they're all victims and nobody wants to spend money, so fuck them, right? What kind of energy are you holding within yourself when you think of money, when you think of you know, the other, when you think of your clients? This is another area for you to take a look at, to dispel. And one of the ways that I always like to um, dispel this is to, to start looking at it from a standpoint of curiosity, a curiosity about other beings, curiosity about other humans, curiosity about like, who might this be? Who might this person be that is the lucky ducky for my next offer? Is this making sense to those of you that are watching? I want to pause for a second and see if any questions are coming in. Yes, Hong, you have an extraordinarily powerful modality, uh, energy psychology, and it works quickly and easily. Exactly. And these kinds of tools are available. Um, and these kinds of tools are, in my opinion, are essential, especially to those of you that are going to continue having success in business 
one of the things that I have always been a strong proponent of is uh, the, well, for me, I always had the two coach approach. I had a strategic coach and I had an energetic coach, like a frequency mentor, um, where I had somebody as more of my transformational coach that would help me with my energy. And then I would have somebody help me with my strategy. So one of the things that I have come to find, the only, the only, only way that um, these kinds of miracle results happen is whenever there is a marriage of the two. Whenever there is a marriage of strategic implementation and these kinds of subconscious belief shifting and energetic shifting about either your beliefs in the body, <clears throat> your beliefs about your offer, um, your beliefs about money, or your beliefs about the other. So one of the best ways to start shifting your beliefs about the people that you want to attract into your offer is get curious. Who would be really exciting for you to hang out with? The party. Okay, so are you excited about your offer? Are you excited about what you're selling? Your offer is your creation and a lot of people resist the offer creation process. A lot of people resist, especially those of you who are intuitive and creative. A lot of people are like, well, I don't have a process. I just kind of intuitively guide people, right? <clears throat> your offer and the process by which you take people through is your party, is your house, is the detail oriented self that you have, um, that you evoke whenever you invite people over, right? What kind of experience, like what kind of drinks do you want to serve them at your party? This is your house and you're inviting people over to them. So there's a couple of steps to this framework uh, that I teach my clients is, first of all, do you have an offer? And if not, there's some more strategic and more process type work that needs to get done, uh, whether it be market research, whether it would be taking everything that you have done up until now with clients and compiling it into an offer or creating some sort of a skeleton of a process by which you take people through because this is your journey. This is the journey that you have created for your clients, right? So are you excited about this party? Are you excited about this work of art that you are creating? Or is your offer currently right now? Like, hey, oh yeah, it's gonna be six Zoom calls and six sessions and I'm just gonna help them shift whatever comes up. This is your ability to be the host. This is your ability to hold a container. This is your ability to be able to decorate your house. So this step of the framework involves you either creating or getting excited about your offer. And both of those are not mutually exclusive. Every single individual um, who has created these kinds of sales has had some sort of a skeleton of an offer. It may not have been like fully specific and may not have been, um, you know, like super, super refined, but there was at least some sort of a skeleton of an offer. And including myself, I see a comment. Financial psychology, let's see. This makes total sense. Good, good, absolutely. I'm so glad. Then the sales process. <laughs> this is my favorite, you guys, because I love how I love watching how people sell. I love watching like what happens when people create these sales. And this is essentially what I'm teaching you. <laughs> what I'm teaching you is a sales process that starts in your body, then the mind and the client, then starts in the container outside of you and starts in intuition and action and bringing it into the 3D. So your sales process is not necessarily the funnel by which your people move through, you know, your uh, content, although that might be it. And I guess it's strategy and energy work is not separate in my line of work. Um, and the individuals that have created the most success 
have had some sort of understanding of their sales process on a strategic level. If that, if, if they don't, that's fine. And I'm going to talk about that in just a second. But your sales process is not necessarily what you think it is. And your sales process encompasses all of who you are being during your sales process, meaning like what, what kind of actions have you taken that are non-business? Meaning like, what kind of foods did you eat today? Did you wear red underwear? <laughs> are you shouting things from the rooftop? Did you do yoga today? Did you have some physical exercise, um, right? All of these things are a part of your sales process and it's important to begin tracking it. The sales process, like I said, it's not a linear thing, nor is it necessarily just a strategic funnel. And I put the box of chocolates here is because your sales process is like a box of chocolates. <laughs> and a part of it, you know, some people are like, you may, you never know what you're going to get. You knowing what's in those box of chocolates is going to allow you to have a repeatable sales process, even if it is based on intuition, energy, and magic. So one of the best ways to begin tracking this is how did the last few sales happen for you? What were you wearing, right? Like, what did you change perhaps your physical environment? Did you change up your hair? Did you change up your physical appearance? Like I cut my hair recently. Um, what, what, were you, what were you doing up until that sale happened? So I described to you my 12K day, right? What was I doing and who was I being up until then? Who I was being was an unshakable fortress who was being challenged and who was being tested. Who I was being was somebody who continuously held the vision. What was I doing? Um, I had a daily meditation practice that helped me shift my subconscious beliefs. I had a daily consistent strategic practice where I was continuing to communicate with my audience and listening to their needs on the daily. Um, what else was I doing? I continuously held the belief and I followed an intuitive hit, which is exactly what I've taught you up until now, right? Shifting subconscious beliefs, knowing my offer, knowing my audience, and consistently taking one step in front of the other. So keep this in mind, you guys, as you start to track, like how did the last few sales happen? Not just like, oh, it happened from this one group because of whatever, whatever, whatever. See if you can track what had happened a few days prior to that sale. Um, this is going to give you such key, amazing elements as to what to put in to your daily habits and what to put into your daily practices to create a repeatable sales process, even if it is based on energy, magic, and intuition. If you did do some sort of post, you know, what kind of posts or what kind of topics were they? If you can track, you know, like people really responded well to controversial posts. Uh, people really responded well to my post about the non-niche approach because a lot of people get really stuck in the niche, right? People really responded well to my post about, um, you know, intuitive abilities in business or something like that. What style posts have really worked for you? Was it engagement posts? Was it, um, you know, asking your audience questions? Was it live stream? Take inventory of all of these things that have happened in your last three to five sales and you will see consistency. Once you begin seeing consistencies, you will find that it's literally identical to this framework that I'm teaching you. So the intuitive side, this is the next step is after you set the intention, after you get excited about the other, after you track how the last sales have happened, after you track, you know, what kind of posts have worked, et cetera, and have some sort of an idea of what you have done before. After you get a hold of your subconscious beliefs and figure out which subconscious beliefs need dispelling and shifting, your intuitive side comes in here now is where you ask yourself, what needs to be done now? The biggest challenge in this is taking action without worrying about the outcome. And this, okay, one of the mistakes that I have made during my 12K day was that a lot of the actions that I was taking were from a standpoint of hustle. 
So whenever you invoke this next step and invoke your intuitive side, take at least 10 breaths and feel your awareness in the body. And ask again. Your intuitive actions, you guys, are going to make zero sense to you, such as my latte or clients relaxing. And I want to go into a little bit of an explanation as to why that is. With my 12K day, there was an energetic backlog of me being like, I have to do this. I have to do this. Oh, my God, I have to do this. I have to be consistent. I have to blah, 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 blah. The latte provided an energetic interruption. Usually, that's why your intuitive side will give you actions that make zero sense whatsoever, such as going and getting a latte or that may feel like they're counterintuitive to you, such as go relax. And why is that? Because you're communicating to the universe. I trust myself enough that everything that I've done up until now is good enough that now I'm going to allow myself to completely relax. Your intuitive side is going to come in usually to give you some sort of a release. And that's why my clients continuously book clients when they least expect it, such as on vacation, um, such as well for me, like while scuba diving or for me, like going and getting a latte um, for me, for instance, or for other clients after going and relaxing with, you know, their family for a week. Is this making sense to those of you that are watching? The action side, I only have a couple more slides, but you have to have to have to always go first, meaning you have to take that first step and watch the rest unravel. Um, even if that first step does not give you, you know, the exact result. Another thing that I wanted to share with you guys, I manifested almost four grand that was kind of out of nowhere last week. Um, and the way that it had happened was literally following this kind of a framework dispelling my subconscious beliefs around money and my ability to receive money from multiple sources, getting excited about money and fixing its relationship, and then tuning in to being like, what now? And I started taking action step after action step, like go return this shit that you're no longer using, even though it's like 50 bucks. I'm like, yeah, but I'm calling in like five grand. <laughs> and money is just like, well, whatever, that's $50 added to that bucket right? Mine agreeing to my landlord, um, you know, giving me some money, even though it was only a few hundred dollars, my agreeing to go paint a wall with my man for $300, because that's the $300 that I did not have, but it was going to add to my money, right? So this is me going first, and I had to go first with money. So this is something that is oftentimes uh, that is missed, is that whenever you take these actions, just because your intuition tells you, go get a latte and all of a sudden you're not getting you know the result that you had expected that means that there's more actions that you need to take and you have to continuously tune in and ask what's next what's next and the biggest most important thing here is to have your full presence within this action right so whenever i went and go and got a latte like it was really important for me to simply be present with the fact that I'm going to enjoy the hell out of this latte. When I went ahead and returned all sorts of things that I had to return and contacted uh, people that owed me money, all of a sudden, like I not only had received like $600 worth of money that was either owed or in returns that I had to return, but also I had uh, manifested like 3000 something dollars that came out of random sources, like literally out of nowhere. And that was two weeks ago. So the stuff works, you guys. <laughs> and this is the part that's usually the hardest for people to follow through is the action side. Um, and especially because people get caught up with like, oh, where's my miracle story? What the hell? <laughs> you really have to continue to hold your vision and be that unshakable lighthouse in the storm, as I had mentioned in the 12K day. You have to keep the faith and keep going. Nothing energetically, you guys, doesn't work. Like there's no such thing. 
So as soon as you put it out of your mind that something does or does not work, you're going to stop looking for things to fix. And you're just going to keep going and you're just going to keep going and you're going to keep shifting your subconscious beliefs through action. Nothing ever doesn't work. It's simply a reflection of your energy and what you see in the 3D. Alexa says, love it. Amazing. So keep going, not necessarily for the sake of busyness, but for the sake of faith, for the sake of trust, and for the sake of you holding your vision, even if it becomes shaky. You have to go first in your intention. You have to go first in your action. You have to go first in you holding the vision and continue to take actions and not judge them. If you take an action, it was sloppy and nothing worked, whatever, take the next one, move on. Nothing ever does not work. This is the biggest thing that I can impart upon you guys because one of the dangers within the personal development and coaching world is whenever things don't work, uh, people make it mean something and people make it mean something about themselves and they start looking for other solutions to the problem. And usually what happens is they simply do not hold the vision long enough is they do not take that other extra breath of stillness in their half moon pose before they decide to topple over. That's all it is. Usually your next breakthrough, I was told by a mentor and a dear friend of mine, is not from you exploding into another strategy or another methodology, but is you giving that extra inch, just a little extra. And that's how you get stronger. And that's how you can hold more. So again, why does it work for some, but not for others? And the reason being is because there's obsession with stories or making meaning like, oh, it didn't work. That means my inner masculine sucks or something. There is an obsession with healing and learning versus trusting your own self to hold the vision, right? Like imagine if you were working out and you fell out of half moon pose. And all of a sudden you're like, oh, the reason why I can't hold my half moon pose is because I have ancestral trauma. <laughs> you would never be able to move forward. You would never be able to move, you know, towards the direction of your goal. Um, the reason also why it works for some and not others is because there's an obsession of figuring out why it didn't work versus focusing on the desire and taking the next step and getting curious about what that is. There's too much energetical, physical, mental, or other garbage to wade through. Like, and what I mean by that, there's just perhaps way too many um, subconscious beliefs. Perhaps there's way too much emotion. There's way too much addiction, mental addiction to certain stories or looking for certain stories. Um, perhaps there's also an addiction to actually like not desiring to clear the space for it. Because a lot of people like to hold on to their traumas. A lot of people like to hold on to their stories, right? So perhaps it's just like not wanting the desire to clear these things out. Uh, not wanting to take charge and choose differently because with every breath, we get to choose our reality. We, with every breath, we get to choose what we create next by focusing on our desire and focusing on what we want. Or perhaps it's not actually desiring the thing. It could be that you don't actually want 5K tomorrow. <laughs> maybe what you actually want is like a partner or something right and really being true to yourself like maybe I don't want another client maybe I actually want to just have money maybe I don't want to attract another client maybe I just want money to come into me from like other sources or something being honest with that uh, and being truthful with that will allow you to be in your own congruence and energetical congruence with your desire Let's see, I just wanna. And, okay. Lastly, does anybody have any questions? I'm gonna open it up for questions. And if you had enjoyed this presentation, this is literally what we're about to dive into in my group, The Divine CEO. This is where my client has pretty much doubled her investment in 24 hours. <laughs> Uh, in a group program. Um, and this is the process that I take my one-on-one -on -one clients. There was a couple of you on here and you could attest to that. Um, these are similar processes that I take my one-on-one -on -one clients through. So this framework is something that we dive really a lot deeper in my one-on-one -on -one work. Um, so if this kind of business approach 
is something that intrigues you and it's something that you have never seen before, I encourage you to go ahead and PM me. Um, I do have a membership group space that's coming up but that's going to be under $350 per month for a six month commitment where you can get access to my trainings and you can get access to question and answer um, time with me. It's gonna be a group q and I haven't decided on the full format yet, but if this is something that interests you, please go ahead and PM me. Lastly, I am only taking two more clients for my one-on-one -on -one for the rest of the year. Um, the reason being is because my work is shifting into a lot more of the energetic space. I only work with six clients at a time, one-on-one. -on -one. So for me, and the reason being is because I go really deep into their work. I really go into deep understanding of their work and really deep understanding of their energetic processes, really deep understanding of how their intuition talks to them, uh, really deep understanding of their own intuitive abilities and how they can bring that through in their sales work, uh, in their sales process and in their work. So if this is something that interests you, please go ahead and PM me. I have payment plans starting at $2,000 um, for my one-on-one -on -one and then monthly after that, that is less. Um, I have created different structures for people to make sure that it's accessible because I do realize spending six to $8,000 on the coach right away is really difficult for some. So I have created a variety of options to work with me. The Divine CEO Group Program is a really amazing space for those of you who perhaps have already sold a couple of offers and are looking to really integrate all of the consistent strategies that you have taken so far um, with this kind of intuitive understanding and how your intuitive process and your creation process works. So having said that, like I said, please feel free to PM me. I do have another package in the works where I teach you how to tap, tap into your own psychic or intuitive abilities and how to become your own healer, essentially, how to begin dispelling your own subconscious thoughts, um, how to connect with your guides, how to connect with your own internal guidance system, and how to essentially never need a healer ever again how to be able to discern what is for you and what is not and how to hear the voice of your intuition. So that package is something that's very new and it's for a very unique and special individual. So please feel free to PM me. Those are all of the ways that you can work with me at a variety of budget levels, starting anywhere from $300 upwards to $8,000, depending on where you are. Um, there's payment plans available for everything. Like I said, my work is pretty much a combination of practical magic and I haven't seen anyone else teach it that way. All of the processes that I have taught you have had a 92% success rate this year, uh, which means 92% of my clients have made their ROI and have made money in my work, so, or in working with me rather. So there is that. Um, I know plenty of people have spun their wheels and have perhaps invested tons of money into coaching or perhaps you're just starting and you want to avoid that, um, I definitely recommend or encourage you to PM me. I do not bite. And it doesn't cost you anything to speak with me to evaluate what might be the next option for you. Um, and I have been known also to not necessarily turn away sales calls, but evaluate in a way that not just is going to sell you into a package if I feel like you're not quite ready for it yet. Right? So... I look forward to speaking with you. In the meantime, do you have any questions? I'm gonna hang out for just a few minutes before I hop off. I know there's a lag on, on the uh, Facebook. and zoom so i'm gonna hold on for just a couple minutes i am not seeing Any more comments? Let me see, just to make sure. All 
All right, you guys. Well, this has been awesome. I'm going to go ahead and log off. I'm going to check in with my subconscious to align desires with my subconscious or with my con. I'm sorry. I'm going to check in and align my conscious desires with my subconscious belief tonight. Awesome. All right, everyone. This has been awesome. Um, if you're watching the replay and have any questions, I encourage you to hashtag replay and ask me there. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you then and I hope you have a beautiful rest of the week. Bye. -bye.